not done one of these videos for a while, so just thought I'd throw a quick one out there. Try and give you a hand locating the Sombrero Galaxy, also known as M104. It's located in the Virgo constellation. It's a very popular target, a lot of people hunt this out at this time of year. So we'll give it a go, see how we get on. First thing we need to do is locate uh, the constellation Virgo. So we've got our planisphere, we've got it set to the right time and date. And if you zoom in, you'll see that that's it there, located pretty much exactly due south at the minute. Now the main star you're looking for to help locate this constellation is Spica. Easiest way to find that one is to look at the Leo constellation, which is very obvious in the sky. And the rear end and the tail of it forms a triangle which points pretty much down to Spica. And that will be the bottom star in the Virgo constellation. So that's the first step. So once you've located Virgo, then we can move over to the chart and have a closer look and try and find our target. When I'm doing my star hopping, I like to use this atlas here. It's a Cambridge Star Atlas. Yeah, you can get a lot more detailed atlases than this, but they cost a lot of money. I find that this is a good basic atlas and will get you to most of the places you need to go. So as you can see, we've got Constellation Virgo here with Spica at the bottom. But although that's uh, the target is in the Virgo constellation, that's not where we're going to start the star hopping. Star hopping. We're going to use this group of stars down to the right of it called Corvus. And the reason for that is if I zoom in, you'll see that our target, the Sombrero Galaxy, you've got a nice clear path up to it from Corvus. So we'll just put a wee tag on our target so we don't lose it. And if you look at the top left hand star in Corvus, you'll see it's a double star. And that's good because when you uh, look through the finder scope, it's a good indication you've definitely got the right star. And you're looking in the right place. And there's even a smaller star to the right of it, so you could say it's a triple star. So there should be no mistaking that you're in the right starting spot. So we'll stick a wee tag on that. There's two steps to get up to the Sombrero Galaxy. The first one, if you look just to the just above your double star, you'll see this pattern here. You've got a triangle, a very long elongated triangle, but inside that you've got a smaller triangle as well. So that's your first one you're looking for, pointing to the right. So we'll just put a wee tag on there. So you need to get your fine scope to centralise those triangles there. And then the top one of them is actually the basis of another triangle pointing in the opposite direction. I don't know if you can see that. So if you judge, just nudge your fine scope a little bit further up until that new triangle is central in the fine scope. And hopefully, when you switch over to a wide-angled eyepiece, you should be able to pick up the Sombrero Galaxy. It's a magnitude 8.3, so it is a bright target. And that's about that. Simple as. I'll put a little uh, motion up using Stellarium, just to show it in action. So I've got Stellarium all set up here. And if we swing to the south, we can see the very obvious constellation of Leo up there. And then three rearmost stars form a triangle to point down to Spica. So we know that is the base of the constellation of Virgo. And then down and to the right again, we find the four stars that make up Corvus. So we put the finder scope on the top left hand one. Have a look through the finder scope. It should, in theory, be a double star. Oops. There you go, double star with a smaller, dimmer one to the right of it. So that's us in a starting position. 
So we're ready to do the star hop. So we just nudge the finder scope up. We should come up to the long elongated triangle. And there is there one, two, three, with a smaller one in the middle of it. So get that central, and then the top star. That should make up the base of another triangle. There is there one, two, three. Centralize that, and there you go. There's a sombrero galaxy right there. There you go, easy peasy. If you have any problems finding it, just stick a comment down in the down below, and I'll see if I can help you out. Or if you've got any other targets you want help finding, just let me know, and we'll do our best. All right, I hope you get on okay with that. Cheers.